United States uh, has been absent from the theater for some time, partly because of other problems in other parts of the world, and partly we would like to say we didn't have enough problems to deserve your attention. But when President Obama decided, you know, with the encouragement of Senator Clinton, uh, the whole machinery in the U.S. government went to work very quick, very fast, very, very determined. Secretary of State Clinton came to see me in February, and then she said she would uh, come to the ASEAN Regional Forum in Phuket in July, and meanwhile she would start interagency consultations on accessing U.S. accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation. Well, she came in July, and she did both, and uh, we challenge her that, you know, with all these successes, uh, one thing that would certainly cap everything is this long-awaited summit or leaders meeting among the 10 ASEAN leaders and President Barack Obama. And she said, let's do it. And she did it. And we met President Barack Obama, Ms., uh, Prime Minister um, Apisit and I, when we were attending the G20 meeting in Pittsburgh. And he took us aside and said, I would like to see our relationship, U.S. ASEAN, uh, meaningful in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. So we would like to have that meeting in, in Singapore, and let's get to work. And when he came, yes, the chemistry was very right, the timing was right, and uh, I think it's opening up a new, a new uh, opportunity for diplomacy, for engagement, uh, for many initiatives in the region on many issues. One thing is important, and that is to demonstrate that the U.S. is back, willing, able, ready to engage and to re-engage again after a long absence. Now, and in the joint statement, uh, you know, in the midst of uh, a, a challenge for ASEAN uh, centrality, ASEAN role, ASEAN uh, contribution in the evolution of economic and uh, political community building in East Asia, you know, the idea of Mr. Rudd from Australia, the idea of Mr. Hatoyama from Japan. Uh, the U.S. joint statement with ASEAN confirmed the centrality of ASEAN. The way I look at it, on the flip side, I think the U.S. is reconfirming its own centrality in the region. And that is very, very important. That is a very, very significant message, that you are back and willing to work with the countries in the region. Mm -hmm.